In this tutorial, we delve into the world of Arduino. We'll use an Arduino Nano, HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor, HC05 Bluetooth module, and an LED to demonstrate the seamless integration of various components and smartphone control. By employing an HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor and an Arduino Nano, we measure distances and wirelessly transmit the readings to a smartphone using the HC05 Bluetooth module. Another fascinating part is leveraging the smartphone's command to illuminate an LED on the Arduino, further displaying the endless possibilities. Join us on this enlightening journey as we explore the functionalities and capabilities of these components and how they interconnect. Alright, so let's begin the build process. First, you're going to need a breadboard, and they're connected like this, just so you know. So put the Arduino Nano in the middle of the breadboard. After that, add the HC05 Bluetooth module to the end. Attach some wires to the four middle pins for it, and then hook it up to the Arduino. If you want to know how it's hooked up, here's the schematic. I know it's an Arduino Mega, but the connections are the same. Hook the VCC on the Bluetooth module to the 5 volt output on the Arduino, the ground to the ground, and then hook up the RX of the Bluetooth module to the TX of the Arduino, and vice versa for the TX on the Bluetooth module. And the two resistors that are used are a 1K ohm resistor and a 2K ohm resistor, and those are used to bring the voltage down for the uh, output signal for the Bluetooth. Uh, because the Arduino is 5 volts and the Bluetooth module uh, works on 3 volt data So you just got to bring the the voltage down a little bit for that So now we're going to add the ultrasonic sensor to be able to detect objects and their distance away It's a pretty standard connection 5 volts to 5 volts ground to ground and then just hook up the two other wires to two digital inputs doesn't matter which ones we're using digital in two and three on this okay so let's do the led now we'll add a 220 ohm uh resistor first that way we don't burn up the led because it uses a lower voltage than what the arduino outputs you're going to hook up one side of the resistor to a digital pin on the arduino and then the other side of the resistor gets hooked to the long side of the led then the short side of the led goes to ground on the arduino all right, so let's take a look at the code. Here up at the top, we have what pin numbers uh, each thing is. We'll get to the specifics later. Um, then we have a few variables that we, we're declaring. Uh, these are just these two right here are used in the calculations for the distance, the object detector, so we can calculate the distance. And then these two will be used for the LED control. So here in our setup area, this is run once when it's turned on, when the Arduino is turned on, and then it goes to the loop section after that. But in this section, we are uh, setting the modes for each of these pins to output or input, depending on what it is specifically. The trig pin, uh, that is for the ultrasonic sensor. That's what sends out the ultrasonic signal. Uh, that is declared as an output. And then the echo pin, that is what receives the signal that is sent out from the trigger pin. So that is set as an input. The LED pin is set as an output because it's an LED. We're outputting power to an LED. And then we're going to begin the, the serial uh, communication connection right there. We're going to use that to send and receive data to and from a smartphone with Bluetooth. All right, so let's move down to the loop section. So first off, we need to figure out the uh, distance away that the object is that's in front of the object detector sensor. Doesn't matter what the object is, we're just trying to get a general distance away. So what happens here in this area is the trigger pin is set to low to make sure we got a good quiet uh, you know foundation to start with we wait a couple microseconds and then the trigger pin set to high for 10 microseconds that sends out a ultrasonic signal and any object that it hits it'll bounce back and so 
after it is set back to low and it's not creating that signal anymore, then we check the echo pin. And if the echo pin detects, if it's high, if it detects a signal, then we get how long it took for that signal to come back with this pulse in command right here. And so how, how long it took to bounce back the duration right here, that's used down here in this equation. Uh, that's the speed of sound or something like that right there. I'm, I can't remember. Uh, and then divided by two because we're talking about a bounce back. If we didn't divide it by two, you'd be measuring the total distance from the starting point all the way to the bounce and then all the way back. All we need is just the distance from the starting point to the object. So we divide by two right there. Once we get the distance here, it's in centimeters by the way, we will send that through the Bluetooth serial connection on an Arduino Every, which is what we're using, that you put serial one right there. If you want to communicate through the USB, you take off the one, just do serial. This will constantly send a stream of distance readings out on the Bluetooth connection. So the next part, we're gonna check to see if there's any uh, Bluetooth data being sent to the Arduino. And if there is, if the amount of data is above zero, that means there is data to read. So we're gonna read that data right here. This variable, the LED data variable is that data that we were reading. If we receive the letter X, and if the LED state is currently in state one, then we're gonna change the state to state zero and we're gonna turn the LED off, okay? Now, else if the LED state is already off if it's zero then we're going to change the state to one and turn the led on the led state just says what position the led is on is it on or is it off and then after that we're just going to delay 100 milliseconds just to give the sensors time to get ready for the next reading so that's pretty much all there is to it now what if we wanted to make the led turn on if the distance got below a certain point okay well let's just do this let's get rid of all of this stuff get rid of this let's see we'll get rid of all the serial read stuff and any corresponding brackets and then we will All this over. After that, let's just change a couple things. We don't need uh, LED state anymore, and we're going to change this. Uh, we'll keep that low. All right, so let's do this. If the distance is greater than let's say uh, 15 centimeters. All right, if the distance is greater than 15 centimeters, or greater than or equal to, you know, uh, if the distance is greater than or equal to 15 centimeters, then turn that light off. Now, let's copy this. Else, if distance is less than 15 turn the light on we're gonna set the pin to high and that's all that's all you do now anytime the object detector sensor detects an object less than 15 centimeters away it'll turn the LED on let's give it a try let's get this code uploaded let's test it out 
Yeah. I'd say that's working. The possibilities are endless and the knowledge is readily available. So what are you gonna make?